this from the edge. So I'm going to lay this right at the crook of my arm. And then I'm going to march my hand up. How many of y'all love hamburgers? Yes? What's your favorite hamburger place? Wendy's? Yes! Yes! You're my favorite. It goes Burger Republic, then Wendy's. And like McDonald's is not even on the water burger. Please. Okay, so you go to chicken then. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Hey, let me get your attention. So I got my thumbs underneath here. And I, hey, let me get your attention. It's going to help you out. I've got a hamburger. All right, I got two of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to nom, nom, nom. All the way up. I'm about to eat the hamburger. I'm going to hold this corner back here and this corner here. And then I'm flipping it over. What I'm going to do, look at my hands, look at my hands. Now I'm going to take that grip and I'm going back to the hamburger grip here and I'm going back to the hamburger grip here. I keep this one tight and then I num 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 all the way forward and then I flip it forward here. I hold this one back with a hamburger grab, switch this one with a hamburger grab, num num num, flip it forward again. Then I change and I just keep switching back and forth to my hamburger grab. When I get on this flat seam right here, then I can flip it forward and I can use my forearm to let that flag rest like a little big table and I can flip it over. Flip to the hamburger grab, flip to the hamburger grab, nom, 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 and I keep doing that all the way up. Flip. All I'm doing is changing the grip to a hamburger grip and that's gonna help me flip it over. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right, okay. So we're gonna let you guys fold it one more time. Pause it, no. Tell me your name. Tuck it out underneath your arm. Get out that arm. This one. There you go. There you go. All right, now you hold it this way. So what you want to do is I'm going to make an opposite triangle here. So I'm going to flip it over like this so that the pointy end goes with the pointy end and the tiny end goes with the tiny end. And I'm going to tuck it right up in here. I'm going to push it all the way up in there. Very good, very good. All right, give them all one. Do right. All right. Before. This again. Flip it. Take this corner over here. Now hold it up the other way again. Flip it. I think we got time for one more after this. Who wants to fold it next? So now we don't have okay. any room to fold it anymore. Pressing. Because your fingers on top. That way, you, you just get um, like this. Yeah. Yeah. Now you gotta get back to straight. Then put this corner and fold it over. This corner. Mm -hmm. Nice and, and tight. Very good. Why, why did you fold it that way? You are 100% correct. Tell us why you did it that way. So when we fold it like that, you can see it's Very good. Give it one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one little trick, keep going, you're doing great. What, if you're on this end with the stripes, what I want you to do is make sure that you're the one backing up and pulling that flag as tight as you can, but not so tight that you yank it out of their hands and then it hits the ground. But the tighter, you, uh, Bradley, right? Yep. Bradley, the tighter you pull, the easier it's gonna be for them to pull. Now he's gonna start folding which means when he starts folding, now you got to give it a little bit of tug and keep it tight. Okay, go ahead and finish it off. Yes. Yes. Okay, time out. Technically, technically, by the book, what's supposed to happen if we were in a combat or a, a militant scenario, then we would be obligated to burn the flag because we just disgraced it. But 
These things are expensive, and we're not going to do that. So we're going to clean it off. We're going to dust it off. We're going to make sure that if necessary, it gets sent to the dry cleaners, and then we get right back to business. Technically, by the book, you're supposed to burn the flag, but your principal probably spent a bazillion dollars on these things, and uh, we don't have to. We won't have to buy another. Does that answer your question? Great question. Hey, show them the hamburger, hamburger, nom, nom, nom again. Oh, it's also the wrong person. But, but it needs to come from this end. So you just hold it. Okay. Yeah, hold you're. Hold it. This to show respect to the flag that would replace a salute by a military member. Yes. Put your right hand over your heart. So if you wanted to add that to your ceremony, you three, instead of saluting, when that flag's being raised or lowered, the other two can put their hand over their heart. That's not something you might want to do? Okay. piece up. If I don't have enough rope to secure under the last, uh, I'm sorry, under the hook at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this loose a little bit and I'm going to pull it really, really, really tight. And that that rope, that nylon rope will kind of stick to each other and it'll keep it from coming on down. Great question. Thank you for asking. So you can be running the whole show here, yes? All right. I'm all about it. That's confidence right there. Do you want to try? I don't know how tall it is. Try to give it one more wrap underneath. One more wrap underneath. There you go. And I definitely don't have enough access. Nope. So just go ahead and pull these. When you pull them out, you want to pull them out in pairs. So you have them side by side here, you have it side by side there. Perfect. All right, give her one. Okay. There you go. All right. All right, so let's back. All right, so we're going to go back inside the, the commons, the freezeway here. All right, come on inside. All right, the more the better. The more people that are out here to help, the less chance that flag is going to hit the ground. So you're going to have one lowering it. You're going to have one grabbing the flag as it's being 
lowered and the other one saluted and you got that third person. Now, hey y'all relax for a second, you got the top there. If the wind is blowing, don't feel obligated to just stand in one spot. So if I'm the one lowering a flag on the rope, that's my job. If I am the other person out here, my job is to keep it from touching the ground. So if I'm standing here, but the wind all of a sudden picks up and blows it that way, my job is to come over here and wait for that flag to be lowered. And I'm gonna start grabbing the flag and lightly and loosely balling it up into my hands. And I'm gonna baby carry it like we had shown you earlier with one hand underneath, one hand underneath, and I'm gonna hold on to it. All right, does that make sense? Don't worry about whether it's folded from there or not. You can do that after you bring it off the uh, off the flagpole. All right, but you got to be quick. If that wind picks up, then you're going to go ahead and run over there and grab it. Now, what do we do if it's raining? Do we have an idea what we would do if it's raining? Yeah. You're going to go ahead and try to get it down before it starts raining. But if you're in class, you can't really help it. So. Traditionally, you want to make sure before you take your flag inside that it's folded right here in the bus lane, unless there's buses here. Then I, if not, I would recommend going underneath the overhang and then folding it out of the weather. And then you can take it inside. That's a traditional rule of thumb. But if it's raining, you don't want to fold that flag. If it's raining and you fold that flag, and you leave it folded over the weekend, when you come back on Monday, it's gonna be all moldy, and then you're gonna have to buy a new flag. So, if it's raining, just bring the flag down, take it inside loose, find somewhere where you can let it hang and dry, like a clothes rack, or a hanging rack, or over a desk, or something like that, as long as it's not touching the ground. Then on Monday, it's all dry, good weather, and you can come back here and put it up. Does that make sense? All right, never pull the flag when it's wet. Never. Alright, 
Now, you guys are not obligated to salute, but when we are in uniform, when that flag is being raised and when that flag is being lowered, if you're not physically involved in raising or lowering it, then you're going to render a military salute to pay respect to the flag that's being raised or lowered. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Now, they're going to get it all the way to the top, and all she's going to do is hold on to both portions of that rope and just do a figure eight around the, uh, around the hoist holder. Now this can be done with two or three people.